Do you know there's certain tips that will make you an ATM business pro? Stay to the end of the video and I'm gonna share with you five tips that'll make you an ATM business pro. Hi, I'm Phil from PDQ Merch Enterprises and the ATM Mastermind Group page, and I help hundreds of aspiring ATM business owners go from zero ATMs to ATM Business Pro in as little as 30 days. Always remember here at PDQ and the ATM Mastermind Group page, we buy your freedom back one transaction at a time. Without further ado, the top five Business Pro tips that'll help you succeed in the ATM business. Tip number one, always get an SLA. Phil, what's an SLA? That's a site location agreement. I'm a big believer in the agreement. I don't put ATMs into locations without the agreement. I made so many mistakes in my earlier career. And you know what? It's just a deal breaker for me. If we can't put in a location agreement, they can't sign the location agreement and we don't put the ATM in. But for you guys just starting out in the game, I see it all the time. A lot of guys are say, and ladies too, hey, I'm just excited. I want to put my ATM in that location. I'll just do a 30 day. We'll see how it goes. When it goes great, then you are then you say, okay, well here, let's sign an agreement. The business owner's like, no, well, why should I sign it? We already have the ATM in here. We're already doing a deal. Why do we need to sign? And then you can't backpedal. So I always get the agreement signed. We go for a five to an eight year agreement, sometimes more. People say, well, why would you do such an agreement? Who would sign that kind of agreement? People who want to do business with us. That's who signs it. And anyway, that's the people that we want to do business, the people that want to do business with us. So the SLA is the best way to stay in the game and make lots of money during the process. Point number two, ACH agreement. Now, a lot of you guys starting out in the game, what you do is you're just going to cut them a check. Now, that's easy when you got one location, but when you got hundreds of ATMs on the street, it's hard to do. It becomes cumbersome. It takes a lot of energy to do that every month. You got to write the checks. You got to put them in the envelope. You got to get the statements. You got to fold it up. You got to send it out. We eliminate all that. And all we do is we ACH them, their commissions every month. It makes it flawless and it's automatic. We don't even think about it. So when the end of the month comes, hey, it's just, it's great. That just means the beginning of the month's coming next month, next, next time. And it's very easy. So if you're thinking about starting a profitable ATM business, but didn't know where to start, stay to the end of the video. And I will share with you our checklist on how to start the ATM business the right way. Even if you have zero experience in business in this checklist, I will share with you the five things you need to start a profitable ATM business. So you can build a passive income source for your family. You'll have a clear roadmap towards ATM business success. So you can earn between $250 and $1,500 of passive income every single month. All right, let's get back to the video. Point number three, set your alerts on your ATM. Phil, what does that mean? So on your ATM, you have a field that you can set this communication alert. So the ATM calls you every so many hours. This will help avoid if you that you know your ATM is communicating or not, your ATM is online or not. If it's calling every so many hours, now you know it's good. If it's not doing a transaction, then the ATM still, it's not a communication error. Maybe it's something else, but at least you know the ATM is communicating and at least you know that the ATM is in good standing. Now, if it's not doing a transaction over a given amount of time, now you still have to go to the location because it might be a card reader, it might be something else, maybe there's a coin in the card slot or something else, but you know that it's not the communication. Point number four, now when you go to set up the new location, always grab their email so you can email them the statements. So now they get their statement on the first of the month, you're gonna ACH them the money by the 10th of the month, and it makes the, the business very seamless, very flawless. And you know what? It's hands off. And that's what you want. You want to make money while you sleep, while you're doing something else, while you're in your nine to five, while you're with your family, you're, you're constantly making money. And you want to minimize some of the things that take time. And one of those things is writing checks, checking the alerts and, and the statements. So we make that all flawless, we make it all seamless, and we, we minimize the time you need to take to run this business so you can enjoy more of your time. Point number five, bolt down the ATM. Again, you invested thousands of dollars in the ATM. You, you've invested your time finding a location. You got thousands of dollars sitting in an ATM. You don't want that ATM to walk away. A lot of people say, well, I'll just, I'll just put sandbags in the bottom. I'll just put some weights in the bottom. That's great. All they have to do is move it and it's gone. So what you want to do is you bolt it down. It's the best way to ensure that your ATM doesn't grow legs and get out of the location. You got, again, it's not 
for us, it's a deal breaker. We always bolt it down. For, for you guys, you gotta really give it some serious thought. Bolt it down, it takes a little bit of effort in the beginning, and then it doesn't move, and it never leaves. So, bolt down the ATM. And I'm gonna give you a bonus tip today, is if you talk to the store owner and they don't own the building, get the cell phone number, get the number of the person who does own the building. Because in the event that that store owner leaves and they close the building, and now your ATM is hold hostage in that building, you have somebody to contact. I've seen it so many times, it happens in the cities all the time. A guy's there, you fill the ATM up, he doesn't tell you he's leaving, in the dead of night he leaves, you see there's no transaction for two, three days, you go to the store and it says closed due to remodeling, you call the guy, they don't answer your phone, and you're wondering what's going on. Now you got the whole process, you go to the next door, you say, yeah, the guy hasn't been here in four or five days, then you go there and you know what, there's no product in the store, and now you don't know who to call, what to do. You'll have to wait for the, the realtor to come in and put the building up again before you can get your stuff. And good thing you got an SLA, because if you don't, now you gotta prove to the landlord when they do come that that is in fact your ATM. And that happens more than you think. If you don't have that agreement, what'll happen or could happen is the new the new renter will come in, you'll talk to the landlord and say, that's my ATM. He says, do you have an agreement? And you'll say, no, I don't have one, but my name's on the ATM, I got my key. It's like, well, my lawyer says, unless you got an agreement, then it's mine. So that could happen and don't let that happen to you. But again, get the cell number, get the name of the, the landlord, and this will help you in case that store owner leaves in the dead of night, you'll be able to retrieve your ATM. So if you're interested in starting your own ATM business, I want to invite you to our free checklist entitled ATM Business Passive Income Checklist, where I'll share with you the five things you need to start a profitable ATM business so you can start earning passive income, make more money, and spend more time with your family. So if you're interested in starting your ATM journey, click the link down below and start your ATM journey today. Again, this is Phil from PDQ Merchant Enterprises and the ATM Mastermind Group page, where we buy your freedom back one transaction at a time. Thank you guys very much.